Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Hold Up 2 bike platform rack here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now guys, this can be a nice simple way of giving yourself a nice little platform rack to get you and your bikes to your destination. Now Yakima always got that unique style. Of course, you are seeing that glossy black throughout it. Gonna be pretty nice for ourselves if you're liking that style. Got those red contacts too, letting you know exactly where to go to start manipulating your rack. Now right out of the gate too, you are seeing we'd have that front wheel hold here with these ratcheting arm systems. Now, my one caveat, I'm not the biggest fan of that sound. However, it's definitely something we can overcome as we just get our bikes on there. We're not going to be hearing all the time. Just keep in mind, prep yourself for that click. What's nice though, it does keep that arm in that position. So it's kind of a nice little feature to make sure that our arms aren't going to be bouncing around, coming undone, which is especially going to be great for when we actually get this guy folded up against our car. But we'll break that down later in the video today, or for now, we'll go ahead and start looking at these ratcheting arms. They do a great job of just getting down that arm. Won't be going up, of course, unless we hit that lever to get it out of the way. Very easy and intuitive to use. That front cradle, though, I am a very big fan of because I like how large it is innately. You can see you're going to do a great job of fitting even those bigger tires up in there. Now, I don't know if you can actually get called a fat bike tire, but I think it is going to be doing a great job. Of course, I think our biggest issue is going to be that front guy there. Get about four and a half inches of spacing between there of fitting your bikes into. And one thing I do like is that deep well. It's gonna make sure that that wheel sinks in there, as you guys can see in that front one, give us a good backing here. And what that does is even if you had a longer bike here that wants to hang off this edge a lot, you can be secure in the knowledge that that front wheel holder is gonna do a great job of making sure that our bike stays on our carrier at all times. Now, of course, Yakima always getting you with a little bottle opener there right at the bottom. So that can be nice. You're at the campsite, can just walk right up, pop one, don't have to fish in your pocket, or get inside to go ahead and pop open your favorite beverage for after your hard ride. And that way we go ahead and cool off. We also are gonna get a 60 pound capacity per bike on here. So we're gonna have no trouble even getting up to those heavy e-bikes on here. Now with those e-bikes, make sure we are removing that battery coupling. Don't want that coming undone, causing damage to ourselves, our bikes, our carrier, our vehicle, but especially the the people behind us on the road. So go ahead, pop that guy out, put it inside the vehicle. That way it's nice, safe, and sound. Talking about what kind of bikes we can get up on here though, we are so are gonna be able to get our carbon frame bikes. As we mentioned, we have that front wheel holder, meaning we have no frame contact. Therefore, not gonna be degrading or warping any of our frames with our carbon frames. And even if we have women's bikes, step-through bikes, kids' bikes, that might have a little bit of an issue of irregularity in that horizontal frame that might kind of bug us with our hanging style or other kind of styles, gonna have no issue with that. As long as we have that front good wheel, we'll have an excellent time of getting our bike to where we want to go. Now, one great little feature of this as well, we actually can tilt this guy away while our bike is actually on our platform. Still, to do so, we're gonna come right up to that little handy knob right here in the middle. We're gonna go to make sure this plastic latch is pulled away. All we gotta do is press up against there, simply pull that bolt, and allow ourselves to start tilting down. And now we can go ahead and open up our hatch here. Now, I'm seeing our handlebars might be just a little too long here today, so we're gonna go ahead and watch it. And man, we are just right there. So keep in mind, if you had a little longer handlebars, you might run into a slight issue. Now these guys are a little close set here. I could see us getting about two to three inches on the outside of that. So just be sure to check it. If you do guys have that longer handlebar, try to put it to the outside, especially if it's not gonna be too much of a weight compare difference between your other bike. But now you can see I'm getting here, get my coolers, bike helmets, anything I might need. Now it's not the greatest amount of space between here, especially compared to some of the other platforms I've seen out there. However, we still have a quick access here and we still have ample room to sit down, start changing our shoe, do whatever we need to in the back of our hatch. And what's nice about that, we can actually access that with our bikes on there of course, so easy to do when we're at the gas station. Great for even those long road trips for ourselves. To walk it up though, all we have to do is simply support it and walk right up. Now one great thing with this guy as well, you are getting locking cores and cables right here on the ends of your arms. And that makes it really easy to go ahead and secure all of your bike, or each of your bikes I should say guys, on each individual arm. That way we can be secure in the knowledge that our bikes are gonna be attached to our carrier 
when we leave them unattended. And an awesome thing with Yakima, of course, you can go ahead and start utilizing Yakima's same key system. What that means, maybe we go ahead, grab this guy, and later down the road, grab a kayak carrier as well. We can go ahead and make sure all those locking cores are actually keyed alike to the same key, making sure that we always have a spare for ourselves. So I really do like that. Makes it really easy to go ahead and start accessorying all of our Yakima products together. Well, it's not gonna take me too much time to get this bike off. To do so, I'm gonna simply come up to our back cradle here. I'm gonna press in on our little gray lever there, allowing our stripping to get out of the way. Set that guy off to the side and bring myself up to the front. Now, this is gonna be our last point of contact. Let's make sure we're holding onto our bike. Don't want that tilting into our vehicle or ourselves. Don't wanna cause any damage. And then we can simply come right up to that lever, that red letting us know exactly where to go. Press in, bring that up out to the side grab our bike and already we are ready to ride so very easy to use mounting it becomes just as simple the only thing to watch out for of course is this strip that likes to kind of hang in the way and then all we have to do of course bring that guy right in when you walk that wheel up though sometimes really easy to fit that on that strip and that strip just hangs there ready for you to go i like to go ahead and condense these cradles down as well just to go ahead and start making it look a little bit more condensed for ourselves. So one big thing to keep in mind on here is gonna be our clearance with the ground guys. So with our bikes loaded up, definitely don't want this causing any kind of contact, bumping our bikes, causing any damage. We're gonna go ahead from the very end of our carrier, which looks to be our rotating arm here. So at the very bottom of this guy to the ground here is gonna be putting us right at 17 and three quarters of an inch. So I will say that is a little bit shorter than some of the other platforms I've tried out here today, especially with this being a little bit more extended from that rear axle, I would be a little bit more conscious of it. Just if we have a very steep incline that we're approaching, doing a little off-roading, I'd keep in mind as those front wheels go up, the back will go down and so will your hitch mounted accessories. So let's just be conscious as we are doing our driving. One other thing with it too, guys, we can go ahead and get that length from back of our vehicle. Now the Jeep Grand Cherokee, not the longest, not the shortest. We can go ahead and quickly see from the rear of our bumper here to the very end is going to be putting us right under 29 inches, about 28 and three quarters to the very end of our arm there. So definitely going to be not too much space in the back of our Jeep. However, we can also go ahead and quickly shorten that down. We're going to come right back to that kind of pull lever, that knob we utilized earlier. Pull it again, and instead of tilting down, we're gonna go ahead and bring this up and lock it in position. You're gonna see just a little bit of play here. Now, as you guys are driving, I don't think we're gonna be feeling it too much. Now, you might feel a slight shift as you come to a start or stop, but since it's in that one track, I don't think we're gonna have too much bounce as we're going. But now we can go ahead, let's see how close we're sitting here. At our closest point, looks like our our cradle right here is going to be our closest point of contact. And from the back of the vehicle to the very end here is going to be putting us about three and a half inches there, guys, to that closest point on the inside. While our overall length from the rear of our bumper here to the very end is going to be putting us at ten and a half inches there. So really shorten down that space. I kind of like how close this sits, especially if you don't have too much room in the garage, really want to have this on there all the time, or just need that little bit of maneuverability wherever you might be. I kind of like how close that actually sits to our Jeep. Now in this position here, you might have a slight little issue with your backup camera, as it is sitting right above it, but projecting right over it. So you're definitely going to lose a lot here on the bottom. And of course, as you load up two bikes, you're going to have to kind of fight to see exactly where that vision is when you actually have your bikes on there but nice that it's not totally blocking it's still going to be able to see people approaching or your kind of sides as you go to park it well one other clearance we can go ahead and keep in mind is just going to be right here at the bottom here now with this being so close to our hitch i don't think it's going to be too much of a concern but just to give us an idea looks like it's going to be putting us about right under 15 inches there at the start of that curve. So about 14 and seven eighths there, guys. Now I would, again, just be a little conscious as we're driving, but my big concern is when we do have those bikes on there, just keep in mind of our clearance issues there. Moving our way to the inside, you can see we do have our two inch shank here today, allowing ourselves to use our two inch receiver. Now we do have a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt on this guy. Now they are very standard, but you love to see them. They bring this all in line to one system, make for a nicer, smoother ride for ourselves. As you guys can see, as I shake this 
it's actually shaking the entirety of our Jeep. That means we're all in line with one system. Thank you for a nice smooth ride for ourselves, our bike rack, and especially our bikes. You are seeing that little locking core put on there by Yakim as well, allowing ourselves to go ahead and have a nice secure fit when we leave our bike unattended. Of course, you wanna go ahead and lock that when you get it on there. That way we can go ahead and be secure in the notch. Our carrier's right there waiting for us. Well guys, I think the hold up can be a nice little platform rack. Now I'm not the biggest fan of that cranking noise. It would probably bug me a lot on those Saturday mornings. However, hold up definitely gonna do a great job of getting you and your bikes where you wanna go in a nice platform style. And I think it's doing an excellent job of looking cool here on the back of our Jeep Grand Cherokee. Well guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Yakima Hold Up 2 Bike Platform Rack here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.